Hello everyone, this is Gaurang Someya, your FX analyst and I welcome everyone to the currency and commodity buzz. We have seen that the dollar rupee pair as such has been stuck in a narrow range. Volatility has been quite low and the range has been confined to 81, 80, 82 on the lower side and 83, 05, 83, 20 on the higher side has not been taken out. We had a lot of events that were there last month uh, in terms of the banking related concerns which are there in the US and the Europe. We also had major central banks coming out with their policy statement, but nothing of it had impacted the currency. This month, the focus will be on the RBI policy meeting and expectation is that the central bank could be raising rates by 25 basis point and at the same time, what their stance is going to be on inflation and at the same time, banking related concerns which are there in the US, are they you know impacting in India or not, which will be important to watch out for. But overall, unless and until this range is not taken out, we might not see a clear trend coming in for the rupee. Now talking about the major crosses, first starting with the dollar index, we have seen that uh, overall the dollar index has been under pressure. We had the all important FOMC policy statement. Inflation related concerns have still been there in the US and the central bank kind of focused on those things. They've raised rates by 25 basis point and they have also you know mentioned that not much of a concern has been there in the banking sector despite the SUB crisis which have been you know hovering in the market. Again, in, in this month, we'll be focusing on the inflation and growth numbers, which is going to be the guiding factor as far as the dollar index is concerned. But overall, we expect that the bias will be slightly on the downside. There could be a short covering move, which could be seen at least in the first half of the month. But again, in the later half, we might see dollar index again coming under pressure. In case of the major crosses, we have seen that the Euro USD and the GBP USD both have been quoting in a broader range. So around 200, 250 pips of range is, is what they've been quoting in. And if you look at the policy statements, the ECB has gone ahead and raised rates by 50 basis point. On the contrary, the BOE has raised rates by 25 basis point. Both these central banks have kept their focus on inflation. They've, they've said that further rate hikes will be dependent on how the data comes in. So yes, inflation will be in focus for this month as well. And we are expecting that in both these currencies, as in the Euro USD and the GBP USD pair, uh, pound seems to be a slightly better buy as compared to the Euro. Now talking about the Japanese Yen, we have seen that it was not the inflation or the growth numbers or any other economic data that impacted the currency, but it was the banking related concerns which kind of influenced safe haven buying for the currency. In this month as well, we expect that any uncertainty crops up, then we could see that that you know again yen could start to strengthen against the US dollar. And if you want to know more about the SUB related crisis and how it impacted other asset classes, you can check out the link in the description box. Now, if I have to give you a summary, we expect the dollar rupee pair to trade in a broader range and only on a break of this range of 81, 80, 82 on the lower side. Or if we do see a break above 83, we could see some bit of trend coming in. For the Euro and Pound, we expect both these pair to trade with a slightly positive bias. Dips could be used to buy, but Pound seems to be slightly better buy as compared to the Euro. And in case of the Japanese Yen, safe haven buying could be seen in this pair, but we have a slightly cautious view on the currency because now that most of these uncertainties are starting to settle down, we might see again in the later half of the month, some bit of weakness also coming in. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.